Hi, I'm gonna show you how to navigate in the Godot 3D editor. So let's dive in. So let's start with rotating. You can do so by holding in the middle mouse button, just like this. Next up, zooming in and out. You can do so by scrolling the scroll wheel on your mouse. Next up we got panning. If you hold down shift and hold down the middle mouse button, you can pan around your scene. If you want to scroll smoothly, you can hold down control and hold down the middle mouse button and you can drag your mouse and that will zoom smoothly. Next up we got free looking and you can do so by pressing shift F and you will enter free look and you can move around with your WASD. So just like this. It's really nice if you have a big scene and you wanna move over to that object. While doing this, if you hold down shift, you will move a lot faster. So that's shift F to free look and WASD to move and holding down shift to move faster. And you can also do this in a different way that probably gonna be a lot easier to remember and that's just by pressing down the right mouse button and that will enter you into the free look mode so holding down the right mouse button and WASD to move and same here with shift to move faster while in the free look you can also scroll your mouse wheel to move faster or slower so that's really useful if you wanna go faster or a lot slower. If you want to, I wouldn't suggest it since you can just scroll your mouse wheel while in free look and change the speed. But if you really want to, you can go into the editor and editor settings and find 3D. Scroll down till you find free look and you will see free look base speed and increasing this will make your base speed be faster. I would suggest just leaving it at default since they're already at pretty good values and it's easy to change while in the free look by just scrolling on your mouse wheel. When you're working in 3D, it's often that you're working with UI as well. If I add a label here, you'll see that um, it, doesn't, it doesn't switch between easily. So you will have to go up to the top here and switch between 2D and 3D. And there's a setting that will make this automatic. So if you select a um, 2D node, it will automatically switch for you. And to enable the setting, you want to go into the editor and editor settings, behavior and navigation and stay in script editor on node selected. You want to disable this. And now when you select your label, you will switch right into the 2D view. And this is much more efficient and will save you a lot of time. Next, I'm going to show you how to move things around. So we're going to start by adding a CSG box. And if you press F, you can uh, focus on that object. So I'm going to press F and that will focus me right around the object. And if you want to, you can use these arrows to move the object around. But a better way is using the Blender inputs for moving it all the directions. And to add the Blender inputs for moving something, we will want to go to editor and editor settings and go to the shortcuts tab and you want to search for begin and you will find rotate scale and translate and on the rotate you want to hit this plus button and search for R on scale you want to hit the plus and search for S and on translate you want to hit the plus and search for G once you do this you'll be able to use the blender inputs and they are really nice. So if you wanna move something around, you can press G and you can also press G and Z and move it in the Z direction. Same with all the other directions, G, X, G, Y. And with scaling, you just press S and that will scale it like that. You can also hit S and set a number like you want to scale it by two times so you just hit two and I will scale it by two you can also rotate it so if you want an angle you can press rotate x90 and I will rotate on x90 uh, I noticed that I will just flip the cube around so to show it off better I'll rotate x30 and you'll get a 30 degree angle 
And when using these shortcuts, something else will be bind to the same uh, shortcut. So to fix that, you want to go to the editor and editor settings. And on the shortcuts tab, you want to search for you want to search for scale mode. And on the scale mode, you want to hit the X button and that will remove the shortcuts for scale mode. And that's just a shortcut. You can still use scale mode, even though I probably wouldn't because I think it's a pretty useless mode. Now all the blender shortcuts will work perfectly. So you'll be able to move everything around, staying in the select mode. And that's what you want to stay in most of the time. And for scaling a box, I would probably just use these points, but for a model, it's better to just press S than and scale. And these points are really nice. I think they added it in version 4.2. Some things are still missing in these points, like the fog volume has the old points. I hope they add it soon because having more points is better. One of the biggest things I don't like with this Godot Blender workflow is that they have different axes. So in Blender, set this up and in Godot, Y is up. And I think there should be an option to change that to have it matching because that would, would make the workflow so much better. And it's also a lot nicer to look at having set up. I just like the blue color a lot more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.